I need to take out this garlic. Is to get room for these cucumber vines. The problem I'm encountering is that as I pull up the garlic, it's disturbing the cucumber roots. And I think cucumbers don't like to have their roots disturbed. So I have to neatly cut those out. Let's see what I can do. You might want to consider whatever is next to your garlic. I had to carefully cut out some garlic cloves here. I did damage one, but I didn't want to damage any of the roots to the cucumbers. I find it interesting as a fairly new gardener. The root system of garlic. Let me just pull this away. soil's fairly loose because it's dry. You can pull this up, but you see how it's disturbing the earth? I, you probably can't notice it on the camera, but it is maybe a seven inch diameter destruction of soil. Because it's dry, these roots didn't hold on to the soil. But sometimes it holds on to the soil and pulls the whole thing up with the root. <laughs> See how much soil this brought up? So the roots go down and out and they cling to that soil. And when you pull it up, it disturbs whatever's around it. Well, that's why you have to be careful what you plant next to garlic. So I find that very interesting. And I hope I didn't disturb the roots next to my cucumbers. They don't seem to be suffering. Hello, garden bed. Here I have my amaranth, Tabasco pepper, and whatever I feel like here. <laughs> Some baby watermelons, cucumbers. I'm gonna harvest, I'm gonna actually pull up these peas. See if I can get something else going up that trellis, maybe beans. And then those peas over there, I'm going to let dry up to collect as seeds. There's my little baby zucchini in there. Forty cloves, and the largest one of this batch. It's three inches wide. That's the largest one. Three inches wide, fairly thick stem. Some other ones that are big. This one might be just as big. No, this one's the bigger one. Three inches. All right, I gotta hang these to dry for about two weeks.
And no, we don't fear vampires. <laughs> Now you can barely tell that I need to paint the railing. 